That's, that's, that's an entrance for a, that's a new entrance. I don't think anybody can beat that one. That is cool. Hey, what's up? We're the Vamps, and we're hanging out with Rob right now on Front Row Live. Yeah. So I've waited three years for this one. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> and we, we finally got together. So what's up, guys? Not much, man. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm actually now I'm jealous because you guys came in on one of these. They're so much fun. Like we just got over there. And we're, <laughs> we're obsessed. I don't think we've walked in the past week. No, we haven't. <laughs> Next time I see you guys, I, you guys are gonna like gain all this weight because you've just yeah. been on that. Yeah, so definitely. Much. I'm gonna be like 14, 15 stone. Man. So this is it. This is the last night of uh, the U.S. headline tour, the debut U.S. headline tour for yeah. you guys. Uh, what's it been like the past what uh, month or so? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's been about three weeks. Um, it's been awesome, yeah, man. Like, it's so much fun to come out, and it's very different from the UK tour because obviously the UK is like our main territory, and mm. we're lucky enough to be gigging arenas in the UK. But then to come over here and be selling out like 2,000 capacity venues when we haven't really done a lot yeah. is such a big thing for us. And the gigs have been amazing, like, the crowds have been wicked, so it's all good, man. Now, coming into this tour, because prior to that, you guys were obviously, you know, uh, going on tour with other artists, but this since it was your tour, you guys got to pick out what you guys wanted on stage. You know what your setup was going to be like. So what was that like prior to the tour? Um, it was cool. It was like we were trying to figure out what we could do in these venues. Um, we 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 recently bought some like little boxes to stand on, and some smoke comes out. So that's pretty pretty big step for us. <laughs> we're not really ones for uh, before the last tour. We didn't really have anything. Um, that really happened so buying these little boxes is something quite exciting for us yeah it's cool it's cool because like our tour back home and in europe we had like um rising stages and like fire and pyro and all that stuff and it's like kind of cool to come back and do the yeah the do the, and the sweaty gigs, yeah. And the sweaty and really loud yeah shows which is fun well today is the final uh stop of this tour and i'm sure there's gonna be some crazy madness going on but aside from that you guys are going back to work on that second album yeah, well, it's pretty much finished. There's kind of only a few songs that we're kind of doing, and then, um, yeah, it's been kind of sent to master soon, which is Dang. exciting. How do you guys do that while you guys were on tour? Especially, I feel like you guys have been on tour the last year or so. Yeah, yeah, we have been on tour a lot recently. I think we took, like, a couple of months out, um, and we worked a lot with a guy called Steve Mack mm -hmm. in the UK who's, like, helped us do, like, we've done, like, literally half the album with him, and he's awesome. Um so that's where we got the majority of the album done, spending a few months with him. Um, but other than that, just we've kind of gotten used to writing on the road and stuff, and okay. it's uh, it's quite fun actually because you've got a bit more inspiration and whatnot. Now is Mac the only one you guys are working with uh, for this album, or is there someone else that you guys are also working with? Um, yeah, we've been working with a, a few people, which has been uh, really good fun. A guy called Matt Prime that we did um, a song called Risk It All on our last album with, um, and shout about it. Uh, who else have we been working with? We did like the Max Martin camp for yeah. hopefully. Like? Yeah, really good. Yeah, it's fun. It was over in LA, which was yeah, good. It was really cool, guys. Very cool. And with this with this album, is it is it going to be a follow up to Meet the Vamps? Is it going to be something new? Like what's going on with it? Um, I think it's more of a progression than okay. like because it, it's very it's not hugely different, but it is like sonically a, a big step from uh, where Meet the Vamps was, that was very acoustic driven and kind of like um, that upbeat kind of feel, which yeah. uh, the second album keeps that, but there's less, uh, less acoustic guitars, it's more like Imagine Dragons, oh, maybe wow. like anthemic kind of, so fingers crossed up, people like it. Have you guys tested anything on this tour? Not on this tour, no, but w we will be releasing first single hopefully soon. Yeah. So more anthemic. So Imagine Dragons is probably something you guys have been listening to a lot lately. Yeah, that the new Taylor Swift album, um, MGMT went back and listened to them a lot. Loads, man. There's a lot of different influences on there, but then as well, just stuff that felt natural for us, like that was just coming out of the writing as well. Mm. Now, how do you guys feel? You guys have progressed in the last three years as musicians. Uh, hopefully, we we have progressed. Um, <laughs> we've we've kind of like met new new people in the industry um and kind of i guess we've been touring quite a lot so hopefully we've got better at our instruments as well um but i think we've just like widened our kind of like the things that we're listening to like the genres of music and that's kind of hopefully influenced our playing and yeah. writing 
Now, with that last record, uh, you guys, there was a song that you guys co-wrote with uh, Bruno Mars. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Can well, we yeah, Can We Dance. Uh, what was that like? Did you guys actually get to go in the studio with him? or? No, unfortunately not, which it would have been amazing. Like, he's a big idol of ours, mm -hmm. like the whole band. And um, he kind of, that song kind of shaped the way for the whole of the first album, really. Um, so it was a shame that we didn't get to meet him, but it was just yeah. to be like in works with him was a huge thing for us and obviously he's an incredible songwriter so it's wicked now can we see maybe some more co-writes on this record or is it going to be more specific with you guys um well i don't, I don't know whether it's um we're co-writing a lot but it's more kind of like industry people it's not like artists at the moment but um and then so we've done like half the album co-writing and then half the album we've done on our own yeah. which is a similar thing we did on the first album okay and you guys already have a date, uh, November, coming out? Yeah, the 27th of November is the album, so that should be cool. So, how, I mean, how excited are you guys that you guys are going to release something? I, personally, I don't feel that, I mean, you guys probably worked your asses off already with, with Meet the Vamps, but I felt like it was so quick. Do you feel like there's, there's a time frame for each record um, before you release a new one? Uh, yeah, there's, it's always a little bit <clears throat> rushed, more rushed than we would have liked it to be. Um, because you're touring and and all of the other stuff, and you got to keep keep it going because you just want to don't want to you know tour the old songs for about five years. Yeah. Um, but like we're happy with the album, and um, yeah, it's it's, it's exciting because it's uh, it's gonna be released internationally at the same time, um, uh, which we didn't do for the first album because we're just getting started trying to f you know finding a fan base, getting music out there. Yeah. So um, it's it's exciting that we're releasing everything at the same time everywhere. Which nice. Is cool. And aside from that, you guys also announced uh, a band that you guys signed recently. Uh, what was the idea behind starting a record label, as you guys are already busy on your own stuff? Um, I think we wanted to try and um, kind of develop another band, um, hopefully helping them in the ways that, like, I guess, like, things like YouTube. So we, we were, like, a band that was similar to them in the sense of, like, we had just met each other and we were playing instruments, writing songs, mm -hmm. and we hope that some of the things that we've learned um, over the past three years, we'll be able to help them. Um, so I think we saw like a lot of ourselves in in the tide, and um, and yeah, we just want to see if we can help them bring them on tour and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And how how has it been taking them out on tour? Have you guys been teaching them a lot? Uh, does, are they difficult to work with? <laughs> Not really. No, they're all cool guys. They're kind of the same age as like all of us, I guess. So. Uh, it's cool, and uh, they're experiencing it for the first time as we are in America. So it's not it's not that much different, and they come on stage for a few of our songs. So it's cool. It's nice. good fun. Very cool. Now, uh, with this record and, or with this record dropping, any plans for another U.S. tour? I know it was a little tease for you guys out in the states with the 12 dates, but any plans on that? Uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, man. Like we'd love to come back out. This tour so far has been amazing. We're going up to Canada for the next couple of weeks. Um, so it'd be nice once the second album comes out to come back and take that because there'll be a whole new tour, a whole new set and a bunch of new songs. So yeah, I should think so. Fingers crossed next year, maybe. Nice. And for the record, the rec the album is done. You guys don't yeah. have to do anything else with it. There's, so yeah, I think the songs are there. There's always like a bit of like um, leeway and how it's going to sound. Yeah, like yeah. tweaking. Yeah, we'll see. Do you guys know what you might uh, have your first single be already? Or is that something that you guys are still trying to figure out? Yeah, we're actually shooting the music video kind of in the next few weeks okay. so, yeah, so is that part of that contest you guys have right now what's that sorry is that part of that contest you guys have right now yeah 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 it's yeah yeah that's uh, a fan comes along and then joins us on the on the music video shoot which is, i think that'd be really cool like if you're a big fan of a band like we're all fans yeah, of a lot of bands so yeah. like if we were given the opportunity to go along to a video shoot it'd be awesome so fingers crossed